Welcome to the next video of our complete engine rebuild guide. This time we are removing the cylinder studs. In today's video we will take a look at what tools we need to complete this job, a step-by-step -step guide on how to complete it, and in the end we will do a hardware roundup to make sure that we do not lose any of our precious hardware. To make following the content easier you can pause this video at any moment. That said, let's take a look at what tools we need. For this job you need a ratchet driver, an 11mm socket, an 11mm wrench, and most likely we need a torch. Also to remove any studs we need two M7 nuts. We removed these previously from the cylinder head. With our tools ready, let's take a look at the step-by-step -step guide on how to get this job done. Before we get to remove stud, let me explain to you the method that we're going to use. In order to turn the studs, we are going to put two M7 nuts on the stud and lock them against each other. This way we can use the bottom nut to turn the stud, loosen it and remove it. Apply this method to the cylinder studs one by one. First mount the nuts. Lock them and try to loosen them, but most factory fresh engines use thread locker. So your best bet is to use heat around both the cases and the stud to break up the thread locker and loosen the stud and you can remove it. Repeat this method for all the leftover cylinder studs. You can also apply this method if you want to remove the carburetor studs or any of the engine case studs as well as the shifter box studs. Before we put away the hardware let's make sure we have everything. We are left with four M7 cylinder studs. Thank you for watching, click here to get to the next video in this series. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, all that good stuff and if you like this you can support us on Patreon, the link is in the description down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.